Megan, main event, Derek Lewis against Junior DeSantos, the former champ. Biggest question surrounding the Black Beast, often his health. He's had debilitating back issues, but let's assume he's fit. What's his path to beating JDS? Man, uh, this is a, in my opinion, this is a pick and fight. Both of these guys come with phenomenal power, but Derek Lewis, uh, he has to get JDS on the back foot from the get go. Uh, a lot of JDS's previous fights, if he's foot on the cage or his back's on the cage, he gets tagged a lot and his hands are low. He cannot do that against Derek Lewis, who has phenomenal power. Uh, the only question I have is like, is Derek's cardio there? He has definitely, it's not. Uh, a question of whether he has the power it's whether he can last five rounds with JDS who is a phenomenal athlete. Yeah we've seen Junior go five rounds before and, and get wins in that regard. Same question though for him he's one of the most violent kickboxers in the sport. As we're watching the fight what are you going to be looking to say okay this fight is going JDS's way and he's on his way to a win? I think JDS has to be such a technician here. He needs to be so smart with his boxing. He needs to, to get Derek on the back foot, attack the body. And, uh, you know, JDS, he's got the most knockdowns in UFC heavyweight history. And uh, this is a guy who has been around for a long time. He's fought the best of the best. Uh, as a former champion, you know, he has been at the top of the division for so long. So I think pressuring Derek on the cage packing the body and just making Derek quit, make him tired, make him quit. Megan, further down the card, you spent some time in Invicta, both as an active fighter and as an analyst and reporter for them. You know former Bantamweight champ Yana Kuniskaya well. How do you see her fight playing out opposite Marion Renault? Man, this is such an important fight in the Bantamweight division. Uh, I think Yana Kuniskaya, she's a phenomenal athlete. This is her second fight at Bantamweight, and I think this is a big step up for her to really solidify her position in the top 10 ranking. They're both such strong athletes, and I'm excited. They're both grappling heavy, strong, tenacious, and I think that if Yana Kunitaya can play like a wrestling, riding, traditionally dominant game, she could take it. Megan, a name a lot of people don't know watching this card, but they should. One of your teammates, Grant Dawson, making his uh, overdue UFC debut. What should people watch for from him against Julian Arosa? Yeah, it, it has been long overdue, but uh, Grant is a phenomenal athlete coming from Dana White Tuesday Night Contender Series. He has got a lot of potential, and I think a lot of people are going to open their eyes to the athlete and the, and the competition that Grant brings. He has a grinding wrestling style. He's grounded pound is some of the nastiest I've seen, and uh, he just doesn't stop until he gets the win if he gets his hand right. So uh, I definitely expect fireworks with him. And, you know, he's been grinding in the, in the gym every day for the last 14 months. So I'm excited to see what he's capable of on the big stage. Megan, we got to get going, but real quickly, one sentence response from you. Are you fighting in Chicago at UFC 238? <laughs> I'm not, but I'm hoping to. Uh, it's a, a decently amount of time away uh, for the weight cut and to, to start camp. And I've made my debut in Chicago almost a year to the day. Uh, so it, what a what a turnaround it would be to go back there uh, June 8th. All right. Keep us posted on that, Megan. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys.